$2,000 is a lot of money. But for luxury, sometimes we can get things that hold value and sometimes just spend the $2,000 and then poof, $2,000 gone. But today I have gathered 10 items from Hermes that's worth spending your money on. So let's take a look at them. Let's see if you agree with me. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I want to present you 10 items that is under $2,000 from Hermes. So let's start with the little things because a lot of these items are under $2,000 and you can buy multiple of them and some are jewelry pieces that is up to $2,000. So you can distribute your money however you like. You can buy multiple items with $2,000. I just think these things are useful and practical and can be incorporated into everybody's lifestyle. So let's take a look at them and see if you agree with me. The very first item that I think is worth spending money on is actually a back charm. Okay, not all back charms are made equal. I do think this particular one is really, really worth it because it's one of the newest addition to the Rodale back charm family. And it is the Rodale Pegas. So these ones are kind of special because they've got a pair of wings compared to the regular Rodale, which just has the horse saddle. The original Rodale is already very popular. The Pegasus are something that people are going crazy after. So all of these Pegasus are rolled out in the new colorway. So if you are interested, I would definitely say get one or maybe two in the colors that you like and that matches your leather goods because it does enhance the look of your bag and make it look more stylish and cool. The next item is actually from their home goods section, I believe. It is this toiletry bag. This bag comes in multiple sizes. And for some people who do not want to spend thousands of dollars on a handbag, this canvas bag is very lightweight. It's versatile. It can be used on the daily and you can also put a scarf on it and dress it up. It does come in multiple sizes and I believe the price for this one is around around 700 depending on the size that you're getting and it also comes in white orange um, I think the newest colorway is this blue and uh, green stripe one there's also a rouge color this bag is kind of underlooked by a lot of people because people are like ah you know I don't need one of those toiletry bags but it can be used more than just a toiletry so I would suggest you to look into that as well the next bag is actually from their equestrian department which is the Maline bag it is a crossbody the purpose of this bag is to be used for people People who are grooming horses but honestly it is a bag with a pocket you can honestly use it just as a crossbody it is a felt bag I believe they have it in leather material as well that has the Hermes logo right on the front of the bag and then there is a leather string attached to it I'm not sure if there are multiple sizes the price for the Maline bag is just under $1,500 if you want something that has the branding on there and also lightweight and not everybody has look into that and speaking of bag, the next bag I have to recommend is the Mini Evelyn. I cannot stress enough how cute this bag is. For under $2,000, you can try a entry-level bag and it's made out of leather with fabric straps. Sometimes they offer it in woven pattern. Um, I do think this bag is very versatile. It could be a casual bag, it could be something on the dressier side as well, depending on how you wear it. Um, I think you can play it with scarf, you can wear the strap, and also you can mix and match and put the strap with the scarf to make this bag look a little bit more fun and different than everybody else's. Unfortunately, the availability of the bag seems to be a problem for all of us because they don't allocate a lot of these to the store and most of the time you have to request for it, even though it's not a quota bag, but it seems to me kind of like the quota bag. But you don't have to um, spend your money before you can get offered one. It is something that you can order from the store. If you have a good relationship with your salesperson and you have made mention of this, a lot of times it could be ordered. So definitely talk to your salesperson and let them know what your favorite colors are. In the small leather goods department, I have a few things I want to recommend to you guys. The first is the Rodale Pegas that I already mentioned. The next item that I really think is popular and very 
beautiful as well is the Silken Wallet. This wallet is priced at $820 and it's made out of leather exterior and silk interior. It is a full functional wallet, which means it has car slots, it has other you know, pockets in there. What I like about it is that it's very lightweight and also it comes in the colorways that matches every season's color. So for this season, 2021, they have definitely made it in the fun bubblegum pink and also they have it in blue broom. So it's always offered in a range of color. You just have to be ready to get it, to put it in your cart if it's available online because it seems like the popular colors are not always available in store. The next item that I think is really worth money is the H belt. Luckily for us, there are a lot of choices for belts right now. It used to be that you have to buy the belt and buckle separately, but nowadays I think as long as you know your size, they are being sold in a set, so you don't have to like worry about paying the price twice. The last time we purchased one from the store, I believe we bought the reversible version, which on one side is Evercolor leather and on the other side is Epsom. This way you can experience like a range of different leathers and see you know what works the best for you. Hermes has definitely made an effort to make all the belts look more stylish versus before all they ever did was offered in that big letter H buckle and it was not even available when you walk in to get it. I think belts are also a great item to look into and some of the skinnier versions I even see people purchase it and use it as a back strap. How you want to use it is as big as your imagination goes and I'm here to offering you a few ways to wear it. So I think belt is another great item to purchase under 2000. The last item I want to talk about before we jump into the jewelry department is of course the oral sandal. The oral sandals are generally made out of leather. They do make a few other variations. For example, last season or spring summer this year, I was able to get one in the jeans material. The prices don't fluctuate too much from the original um, leather price which is around 630 US dollars besides Oran if you want something a little bit more dressy they do have the Oasis sandal which is basically Oran sandal on a kitten heel and that is my preferred style because I think you know it could elevate the look a little bit more and it is just as comfortable as the flat the Oasis is slightly more uh, maybe a hundred dollar more than the Oran sandal but if we talk about Hermes how many times have you seen other wear the Oran sandals and I personally think it is um, worth spending the money on because you're wearing the branding you are experiencing the leather and also the comfort fit from the sandal so it's a good place to start if you haven't owned a pair and plus there's a lot of colors to choose from so Oran sandal is also on my list so how can I not talk about jewelry I have a few pieces that I personally own or that I'm eyeing on I think you should look into as well the very first one is a silver piece from the Jean d'Arc collection believe it or not this is 640 US dollars, which is just $10 more than some of their iconic pieces, aka Oron sandals. And for silver, I am not afraid of getting it tarnished. Silver will oxidize over time. That's something that we cannot avoid. However, if you know a good way to take care of it, to maintain the, sh the shiny look, I don't think it's a big problem. And you know, silver jewelry does have the silver tone, which is very similar to white gold. Obviously, they're two different things, but I think it's a great place for you to start um, trying their jewelry pieces. So this is the very first item that I recommend. The second item is also a silver piece, and I thought about getting it so badly, but I haven't acted on it because I was waiting for the right length to come across. The item that I'm talking about is the Ferrando Long Necklace. It is offered in, I believe, three different sizes, and it is such a great piece to start. You can wear it as a single long necklace. You can wear it as a double or triple layered necklace as well, depending on the length you choose and also your build. For me, I probably can wear it two times and three times. It might look a little bit tight here, but maybe it would work out for you. Also, other people wear it as a wristlet. Jaime Deluxe here also wore it as a wristlet. And after seeing how she styled it, I was like, I must take a look at that piece. It's a really stylish 
stylish and versatile piece from the jewelry department which your essay is probably gonna love you from buying jewelry so that is the next piece that I want to recommend to you and speaking of it the Ferendal is one of my personal favorite collection from both their silver jewelry line and their fine jewelry line it just sucks that the new Ferendal style is very dainty and skinny so it doesn't necessarily look the best on me but if you're somebody who loves a dainty style you should definitely look into it this rose gold necklace over here is priced at 1650 US dollars and I think it's a really cute necklace to start and Ferendal collection does carry one of Hermes's symbols so under 2k you can get a rose gold necklace why not the next three pieces are from the ring collection some of them are also offered in white gold or yellow gold you know how I do jewelry I love rose gold it looks good on me so I'm here recommending you three different rings from the rose gold fine jewelry collection the very first is the Kelly ring and in the very small model in rose gold it is $1,750 and the next one is the Collier de Chain um, also in rose gold costing slightly more at $1,825 and lastly the Chant d'Arc in the small it is priced at $2,000 sharp. You guys know my relationship with jewelry. I personally think if you're buying luxury, fine jewelry is real legitimate material. You spend that money and the jewelry will carry on for, for forever pretty much. So if you maintain it really well, you can always kind of, you know, give it away or if you want to sell it, it often holds a lot of value still. So these three rings are all very stylish. I cannot choose one. I think rings can be worn on so many different occasions. It could elevate a look. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about that right now because you guys can see I'm not wearing a whole lot of jewelry because I have to make sure I can run and grab things and not scratch my baby. So that's my two cents, but I still think rings are great pieces to buy. I think these are the 10 items. I went through the list pretty fast and I would say these things are costly but I do think you can utilize them into your daily life and some of them can be used on different purposes and you can use it for different occasions. The 10 items are here and I would like to know if you own any of these, how do you like them? So I really hope you like my recommendations and if any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed to the channel, I would love for you to join the family. And if you think this video is helpful, please give this video a thumbs up because it really supports the channel. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care guys, bye.